this video is just going to go through how you can leave feedback for students. Now, the first thing I did is while I'm in the speed grader, I am, if you wanted to, uh, click on the gear, you can choose to hide student names. So if you don't want to know who you're grading and just want to grade it, it's always a great test. So that's under the gear setting once you're in the speed grader. Here I have a submission that was a Google Doc and it basically makes it a flat PDF. I have different tools for me to be able to um, create little notes. If I just use this tool, I can click on a spot and leave a comment right on their document. Now, one of the important things to note while doing this is it doesn't necessarily tell the student that I left feedback here. Um, so I always make sure on the right hand side, I leave a comment for this attempt and I wrote this was very well written. See feedback on the document so that they know to go in and see what I wrote on here. Now, you could also with different submission types. Here is another one where in the settings of the assignment, I had them hand in a URL. And in this case, I hand them had them hand in a Google Doc. And in this case, I could see all of my feedback that I'm giving there and they're getting notification of that feedback. I can still leave a comment on the right hand side. Um, but as you can see, this is how I was leaving feedback for them. I have the grading rubric as well over here so they can see which specific skills they were getting and weren't getting. In this case, they didn't even attempt one of the outcomes, one of the standards that we're assessing in historical context in their opening paragraph. So they got no score there. So there was no attempt. So when we're looking at this, this is kind of how the speed grader can give feedback. There are some other tools that you can do here. Also, when you're leaving feedback, I can attach a file if I wanted to do that here. I also, you can now give a video feedback that gives some auto captioning as well. So if I wanted to do that, what will happen is here we are, I could doubly start recording myself. And I would say, hey, on this one, it looks like you forgot to give um, historical context here. So when you look at your grade, I need you to know that the rubric is really helpful to look at so that you can see what your score was. And if you want to resubmit this after working on your historical context, you could do that. I could then kind of walk there. I can move the window so I can see things, talk through the different parts of this, and then I could hit finish. It's untitled as a file name. I can save the media if I would like to do so. Um, and then they will be able to have this feedback. Um, that is me just talking instead of trying to type up everything and explain it. Another thing to look at too is this is what a student will see in their gradebook. When we leave feedback for them in the comment section, it will say, hey, you have comments on this. It will show up here. But again, they will need to click into the assignment to see all of that information that you left on the document. So that is why the comments tool is really important once you fill this out to give the feedback so that they know to go look here. Otherwise, they also can view their rubric scores on different assignments by looking on here. If they want to see what they achieved on these different ones, they can look directly at the rubric from their grades page. So things that you really want to talk them through while you're doing these assignments and how to view that content as we're going here. So if I wanted to look at, for example, an LEQ, which has more, has four different standards attached, I can see, and they can open this up from their grade page to see which skills they're lower on. In this case, their thesis statement was what was scoring lower. And so they can easily kind of get that feedback to then show them how they can improve in the future. So hopefully that's helpful to see how you can give feedback and how students view that feedback.